Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today I'm bringing you a brand new video showing you the Pergamon roster. Yes, we're finally here, guys. The final roster that I've not yet covered in RTR Imperium Surrection version 5 that's got an update. Now, again, let me say that if your favorite roster's not been covered yet, don't worry, it will be at some point, and that point will be when that roster gets an update. So I've covered all the rosters in the mod currently that have had an update. So going forward, as new rosters come out, new textures come out for those rosters, I will be covering those rosters as well. So as soon as they're ready, I will cover them, guys. So don't worry about it. You'll get those videos eventually. So thank you very much. Let us get into this glorious new Pergamon roster. Here we are once again, guys, looking down the lines of our glorious men with this fantastic Pergamon roster. It is very nice roster. It is a very, very nice roster indeed, guys. And it is stunning once again. They're all stunning. They are all stunning. Uh, and this one is no less impressive at all. But some interesting units in here, guys. Some interesting, unique sort of Hellenistic units. So without further ado, let's go through the infantry. Um, of course, we're going to start with the Greek Hoplites. Your solid early game unit. Ah, oh, look at this guy. He is, uh, he is looking cool as hell with that shield. I do love those shields once again. But again, looking very nice, guys. And um, if we look back, take a step back, you can see once again the blues kind of coming through because we are Pergamon. Uh, blue color coming through, which is fantastic. But these guys, again, very standard mid-tier early game unit. 36 defense, which is decent. Uh, Morale of 13 and melee attack of 13. Don't believe that's a change to um, any of the other Hellenistic units. It's just the standard Greek hoplite that you're going to have available as pretty much every Hellenistic faction. But then we have the Pergamene, Pergamini, Pergamene, Pergamon. Pergamon. I'm just going to call them the Pergamon Hoplites. But we have the Pergamon Hoplites. And these guys are like an upgraded version of the Hoplites, which is fantastic. They look awesome as well. And you can tell they're upgraded if we just contrast and compare, guys. You can see the armor's much heavier over here, even though it's only one extra armor. But their shields are also... Now, the shields are the same size, but they get an extra shield point. But their defense skill is better. Their morale is better. Same melee attack, but just a better unit than the standard Hoplites. So these guys should do well against all the other Hellenistic factions Hoplites, even if you're on hard difficulty, for example. They should still manage to hold themselves to good account, especially with that 15 morale. It definitely does make a difference. That extra two can be one morale shock difference, which is fantastic. They are a really, really nice looking unit as well. And we've got some capage. We don't have any plumage, so they're not exactly fully elite tier unit, but a really good early tier unit. And I would use these guys as much as you can um, if you do get, manage to get your hands on them. And do they, just look at them. They look fantastic. Wow, I've not noticed those before. Every 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 uh, episode of this, guys, I just noticed some tiny little detail that is just fantastic. Like, look at that little little um, clasp there on the cloak. I don't think I've noticed that before. Fantastic. These tiny details are what makes this mod so good, aren't they, guys? It is fantastic. Uh, how many times am I going to say fantastic? Comment down below, guys. That's already about five. So <laughs> let's see what we can get up to today. Uh, Theroporoi. We have the standard Theropora unit. Again, the standard look of the Theropora unit. Looking very nice indeed. A little bit of plumage going on over here as well. Fantastic. 35 defense. 13 morale. 12 melee attack. 14 missile attack with those javis. So they're kind of... They are a really good unit. Uh, but I think if I was going to take either those or the uh, Pergamon Hoplites... I'd probably still take the Pergamon just because of the extra melee attack and the extra two morale and, of course, that defense. But, of course, these guys are a bit more, uh, a bit better in assault because they're going to chuck their javis at the enemy. Um, they're going to chuck their javis at the enemy before charging them. Now, on to another upgrade to an early tier unit, the Mycian Theroporoi. 
fantastic looking unit once again. And again, you can tell they're the upgrade because they've got the bronze and iron like breastplates on rather than the Linothorax, for example. Um, the same shield and, and, uh, and weapon, but again, a really, really awesome looking unit. There is plumage going on and there is capage, but there's not full plumage going on. So we know they're not quite elite, but they are a really decent unit. Um, pretty much exactly the same as the Theroperoi. So another early game decent unit. They just have one more charge. So um, slightly different looking unit, but in fact the look this time doesn't actually increase their stats apart from that charge. So we're pretty, uh, pretty standard unit, but... They've got a cooler name, and they look cooler. So, if you're going to choose between them, choose the one that looks cool, eh? <laughs> and then we have the Thorakitai, your post-reform troops. Pretty much the post-reform version of the Thoroperoi. And we can see they have a bit of an advantage, just mainly in the uh, missile and the morale department. So, they have better armor. So, they're going to die less to ammo uh, and ammunition. Uh, they've got better armor and better shield. It's going to die less to missiles, but less defense kill. So potentially, they won't hold the line quite as good. But you can see they've kind of got the chainmail on here. Kind of imitation legionaries. 35 defense. Um, 16 morale, which is fantastic. 12 melee attack and 15 missile attack. With that morale upgrade... From the Theropora is really good. That is like one morale shock away, guys. That's one morale shock extra that they can probably hold. They're going to hold a lot longer. So really good upgrade there. But a decent mid-tier late game unit that you're probably going to use to flank, honestly. 10 charge is decent. But what you're really going to want to make your armies out of, guys, of course, as nearly every other Hellenistic faction, is these guys. The uh, Phalangites. The... Uh, Pergamon, Katoikoi Phalangites. So, Katoikoi means the Greek settlers, I believe. So, these guys are the Greek settlers in Pergamon, the Greek colonists. And you can see they're all ready to go. Fantastic shield designs once again. Look at those. They do look absolutely stunning, don't they? Oh, the bronze shields. Very nice. Very nice. 36 defense. Yeah, 18 melee attack. Fantastic. 15 morale, decent. Um, 7 armor and 7 shield, so 14 defense against missiles. So they will hold for a little bit longer against missiles, especially if you get them some armor upgrades early on. A really decent mid-tier unit, like all the Phalangites are. But all they're really there to do, guys, they're not there to do a huge amount of killing. Like these units, if you're fighting battles, do not expect them to do... An absolute majority of the killing, unless you only have them, <laughs> of course. Um, but what they're really there to do is hold down the enemy while your cavalry comes behind and charges them in the rear. The old smashing anvil. And these guys are the most effective anvil of them all. Um, although you have some, you do have some pretty effective hammers up here. But the uh, phalangites are the most effective anvil that you're ever going to have. In a total war game. They are fantastic as an anvil. Uh, so use them as such. But these guys are decent mid-tier phalangite unit. Pretty similar stats to all the other mid-tier phalangite units. So they're going to do fine. They're going to do well. Um, and they'll be a lot cheaper than the next unit I'm going to show you. So here we are. The Pergamon Agama phalangites. And look at these guys. This, guy's, this guy is a veteran. Look, grey beards. Grey moustache as well. Some of these guys are veterans, bro. They have been out there fighting. And that is probably appropriate because they are the royal... The royal Peltas. The, sorry, the royal Phalangites. The royal guard. The uh, the fantastic elite. And let's have a look. We do have capage. We do have lots of plumage. That's how we know these guys are fantastically elite. And they just look fantastic. Like all the Agama units, guys, don't they? They look absolutely stunning. Oh, these guys have different clasps on their cloaks. Cool. Interesting. Hello. Ooh. <laughs> when you go through their face, you can see their face. Whoa. Sorry, guys. You came here for units, didn't you? I got distracted. But anyway, their stats. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
that's another video. <laughs> 45 defense. Fantastic unit. 21 morale. 20 melee attack. Absolutely fantastic stats. Very good. Like all the rest of the Agama units. Really good. I may be right in saying that some of the highest defense of the Agama units. 45. I don't believe there's many that have higher than that. Uh, but they all have around the same. 30 defense skill. 15 defense against missiles, so even missiles are not going to take these da guys down too well at all. Uh, and that 21 morale pretty much means they will never rout unless absolutely in the doghouse, absolutely destroyed and got a huge amount of morale shocks around them. Uh, 20 melee attack is absolutely awesome as well. Uh, the alt attack 11, of course, but we, as we've said many times before, guys, never get your phalangites into their alt attack formation if you can help it. Maybe you'll have to at some point, but try and avoid it as much as possible. But a really, really good unit. 30 defense skill is obscenely good. Now, guys, let's move on to the missile boyos. We have seen a lot of these before. So we've seen the Greek slingers, but there's a couple of new units in here. I like the purple robe. Purple robe back here. Very nice. Um, looking very cool indeed. Three morale, seven defense. Yeah, they're, they're not the best, are they? But the 7 missile attack of 32 ammo will do a really good amount of damage. Even after they've reduced uh, they've reduced uh, missile units damage by a little bit in the, the new patch, the hotfix to the to the mod. But like even so, missile units are still really good, guys. Like missile units I and mean, they should be good because they're throwing 32 missiles each. That's each times 80 times seven damage guys not all of them are going to land of course but say only 25 percent of them land you're still going to be doing an obscene amount of damage to an enemy unit if you can help it so missile units are always going to be good guys and even these low tier ones like i've said many times before will do some damage some but they will do some damage now we have the greek archers of course and again we've gone over these guys many times before for morale 9 defense, 9 missile attack for 25 uh, missiles, and 130 missile range. Absolutely fine. I don't believe we've seen this uh, design before, but it looks quite cool. I like that with the different, the blue and the brown. Very nice indeed. But now we come on to a new unit. And look at these guys. The uh, Mycian, Mycian, Mycian? The Mycian archers. Now, they do have some armor, guys. One armor. And that is pretty much evident. It is the helmet that they wear upon their heads. Well, at least they know the, the best place to protect their body. If they've only got one bit of armor, it's going to be the head. But uh, they also have these tiny little shields. Look at these little shields. <laughs> they don't get a shield stat for that, though, because it's so small that it, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, 12 defense. So... A lot better than the Greek archers. Seven morale as well, which in, like, when you're talking about a normal unit, an infantry unit, that's still tiny. That's still really, really low. Like, it's really low. But when you're talking about a missile unit, guys, it's actually really good. Like, seven, it's almost double that of the Greek archers. Then they're, they're nearly doubly as brave as the Greek archers. Uh, of course, their missile attack, uh, their melee attack's better, but you don't want to get these guys in melee. But their missile attack is also better, guys, of 10. So if you can get these guys, get these guys over the uh, Greek archers. A little shame that their range isn't higher. That would have been nice to see a little bit of a higher range because 130, guys, is, is actually really close. Like, it doesn't look like it's... It looks quite far away, but honestly, a... A fast infantry unit can close that down in seconds, in within a couple of volleys. So, um, yeah, the, the range the range isn't as exciting, but definitely a better unit. And then we have the Greek Peltasts. Now, these guys are pretty good as Peltasts go, and we'll see compared to the Akontisti, for example. We can go over both of these right now. But you can see the Greek Peltasts. They look quite cool. They've also got that two armor uh, and the three shield for their little shields. The two armor for those helms that they're wearing. And of course, these highly armored hats. The, the cutting edge of technology uh, at the time. <laughs> the armored hat. Uh, but yeah, they do have three, two armor and three shields. So 23 total defense, guys. Not bad for a Peltast unit. I mean, well, when I say not bad, really good for a Peltast unit, more like. 11 missile attack for seven Javis. 
uh, 12 uh, melee attack and 9 morale. So these guys are a really decent uh, Java unit. If you like Java units, go for these guys if you can. Um, these guys are really good. Really, really good. Nice Java unit. Very good indeed. And again, we see the cowhide textures on those shields, which are just fantastic to see the little details once again. I said fantastic again. I don't know what I don't know what the tally is yet, guys. But keep tallying, keep tallying. Anyway, onto the Akontisti, and they're pretty much the just worse <laughs> than the Greek Peltas. From six, um, from nine to six morale. Of course, their melee attack is is half actually. Wow, and their defense is pretty much half as well. And their missile attack is two less. So you can get these guys because they're going to be really cheap and they will do some decent damage. I mean, like I say, nine missile attack for seven Javis, guys, is nothing to sniff at. They're going to do some damage. Uh, but once again, get the Peltas. They're going to die a lot less to missiles. They're going to run away a lot less and they'll be a lot better in melee if you absolutely have to get them in there. So the Akuntist are your lowest tier, but they still will do damage, guys. And then we have kind of interestingly... The Mycian Javeliners. Javelin... Javelineers? Javelineers. And if we look, they're just slightly worse than the, uh, than the Greek Peltasts. But they will die a lot less to Javis, because they have eight defense against Javis with the six shield for those shields. Hey, look. Winter is coming. Anyway, um... Yeah, Greek Peltas, so 23. Yeah, you can see. So they have 8 versus 5. So they have 3 more defense against missiles. So they're going to die a lot less to missiles. But everything else they're kind of worse at. They're a lot worse at defense skill. But you don't need defense skill for these guys, remember. Because they're not going to get put in, in melee if you can absolutely help it. They also have less melee attack. But again, that doesn't matter. They've got the same missile attack and more... Ammo. So, in fact, although the stats look less for these guys, I probably would take them over the Greek Peltas. First of all, because they look cooler. I like the uh, the reds and the purples here. Looking very nice indeed. Uh, but they're just going to die less in the battle. As long as you uh, go into the battle understanding that you're not going to put your javelin men into the melee fight. So, yes, I would take these guys over the Greek Peltas. So, nice addition there. A nice little addition of a cheeky javelin unit that's going to do a bit more damage. Or, well, the same amount of damage as the Greek Peltas, but survive a little bit longer. Anyway, on to the cavalry, guys. And we have, firstly, of course, our general. The Pergamon General. 34 defense, 15 armor. Fantastic. 55 charge, 21 morale, 15 melee attack, and 14 alt attack. Very, very good unit, guys. As we've seen before, a fantastic unit. And don't they look great once again. I love these uh, like shields with kind of the visors. The rain cap. That's what we'll call it. The rain cap. Keep the rain or the blood, I guess, out of your eyes. <laughs> That's a really cool one as well. Don't think we've seen that one before. The laurel wreath around the helm. Very cool indeed. But yeah, very, very good unit, guys. Then we go on to... We'll go Prodromoy first. Because we've seen these guys a few times. Pretty much your lowest tier once again. But if you haven't been checking out my Carthaginian... Uh, sorry. My Seleucid campaign in uh, the new update. Check it out, guys. Because these guys... I have a lot of these guys in one of my armies. And they're not great for melee, of course. Like, we didn't try and get them in melee. But as soon as the enemy is disrupted and routing... They are fantastic... For running down the enemy. Because they ha pretty much have no armor. They've got a shield. Uh, sorry, they've got a, a helm. But that's all. Um, nine morale means they can rout, rout them down without uh, running away. Uh, but they're going to do some damage. Nine missile attack. Uh, seven javis. Only 12 defense and nine morale. So don't get these guys into the fight. But use them to harass the enemy. And then run down the enemy when they are running away inevitably. Now let's move on to the Aspido Foroi. These guys I really like. And these shields are pretty epic. Look at those. One might say that they are fantastic. <laughs> these are a very nice unit indeed. 
I really like this unit. I'm not going to lie. I really like this unit. It's kind of brought me round to uh, Javi Cavalry with the 10 missile attack and 7 Javis. But at the same time, being a heavy cavalry unit that can do damage in melee. I mean, it's not an amazing defense of 25, but it's pretty good. Charge of 28, also pretty good. Morale of 15, pretty good. Melee attack of 12, pretty good. And missile attack of 10 for 7 Javis. These guys are just all-rounders. They're really good. Like, well, not really good. They're just good in general at everything. Like, there's no thing that they're too bad at. The only thing maybe would be defense skill. But, again, with these cavalry units, guys, I would not leave them in the fight for long unless you're fighting other cavalry. Get them in and out as quick as you can. Um, so, yeah, Aspido 4, a fantastic unit indeed. Very nice. So, let's go on to the Zista 4, your heavy cavalry early game uh, that you get access to. Very nice. Pre-reforms, I believe, the Zista 4. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think they are. I think they are. This guy looks epic. Look at those. The shine on those. Fantastic to see. These guys are your early game heavy cavalry. Very nice unit indeed. 15 morale, 25 defense, and 35 charge. So if you really compare these two guys, like, here's the Aspido 4 Uh There's the Aspido 4 So look, the Zista 4 here... Like, they're just diff they're different units. So, the, uh, the Zista 4 has 14 defense skill and 11 armor compared to the difference there with the Aspido 4 But pretty much melee-wise, they're pretty much exactly the same. Just the Zista 4 has a bit more charge. So, the Aspido 4 are a really decent unit, guys. And nothing to sniff at at all. Don't be, uh, don't be uh, fooled uh, like I am by the fact that they are a missile cav as well. Because they will do well in melee as well. Uh, and then we come on to the final unit, I believe. We have the Mycian Cavalry. Uh, and these guys are another heavy cavalry unit. And another cavalry unit that looks really cool. 23 defense, 36 charge, 16 morale, 13 melee attack. So they, in fact, they're better in attack than the Zista 4, right? Just worse in defense. So, a bit of a bit of a bit of a uh, different catch there, but I would be willing to go with the Mycian, I believe, guys. That would be the cavalry I would choose over the Zista Fore because of that attack. Like I said, I generally when I'm playing, I don't want to have my cavalry in the fight for too long. Uh, I want to get them in and out as much as possible. Right then, guys, we are fighting Epirus today. We've gone full circle because I believe this was the first the first units that we revealed before the mod had even come out. Um, so, without further ado, guys, let's get the battle started. If you have enjoyed that little preview, not preview, it's a review now. A review of... Okay, guys, we forgot about one thing, didn't we? So, before that battle gets going, I wanted to show you these Thracians once again, guys, because they are just epic, epic, epic looking unit. They look mean as hell. I love the look of them. Look at them all. They look so mean. They look quality. 28 defense, pretty decent. 13 morale, 16 melee attack, which I believe is the uh, the sword, not the javelin. Someone can uh, can uh, correct me on that if that's wrong, but I believe that is the sword because although it says secondary weapon, they fire the missile before charging. So that will count. The missile weapon will count as the primary, I believe. So these guys, really, really good. 16 melee attack. That's armor piercing fantastic and they look awesome as well 28 defense not as high defense as some of your other units but that's 60 melee attack that's armor piercing he's gonna shred through armored units so quickly i really like these guys and then one thing that we've not seen so far guys is just the mercenary phalangites that are available to anyone who goes through greece or hellenistic areas really they're available as mercenaries pretty much all across greece so i just wanted to show you these guys and their stats pretty standard mid tier uh phalangite unit you can see 36 15 18 fantastic and they look pretty cool as well right anyway guys if you have enjoyed that please give it a like uh, and a subscribe that would be awesome uh, that would be amazing thank you very much for watching if you want to watch the battle of course you can do if you don't no problem 
just click off the video and give it a like. Anyone who wants to watch the video, stick around and we're going to fight the Epirates. The darned Epirates once again. We'll get our uh, Javi boys forward. You guys should be running. You are now. Fantastic. Cavalry wise, I think we're going to stick them all together. Now, we don't have any horse archers in this army. Unlike last time, we have some fantastic little horsey archers. All you guys should be on fire at will. Same with you guys. We're also going to turn you all off that. Let's go, boys. And we've got the epic music in the background as well, don't we? Oh, love it. I love to see it. Uh, oh, God. The Molossian Agama. You know, I said those Thracians were brilliant. <laughs> um, don't let them get charged by uh, the elite cavalry of the enemy. That's never something you want to do. You guys are already in the fight. You guys get in. Who's come around this way? We got the Agama yet? Oh, they've gone straight into our Greek slingers. I mean, our Greek slingers are just slingers. It doesn't really matter. Come on, Cav. Poor Thracians. I've absolutely ruined them. Oh, look at the Agama. They're, they're still only. They're still on 45. All you guys should be firing your jabbies, etc. Ah, God. Our Agama has been charged as well. Go that way. Get into those phalangites. Again, we might lose this. It's gone a bit brutal so quickly. Their bodyguard is there. You guys get into phalangite formation and halt. Okay, we're looking okay. We're looking okay. That's the Choni and Agama there as well. Really decent unit. I kind of want to go through the back of there. Hey, where do you keep coming from, bro? Let's get after them, then. I really wanted to... Well, I guess we'll go around this way. You guys run. And then we'll put you in phalanx soon. We're kind of flanking these guys. Now into that. So now we'll go this way. Just go through him. So you're doing quite well there, aren't you? Oh, yes, boys. Yes, boys. That's what we like to see. The Greek Peltas routing the enemy. I am using my Prodromoi pretty terribly here. Like, I should be using them to harass the enemy, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. That's <laughs> all I can say. That's all I can say, guys. We are in the mass cavalry block, like Alexander. Loving it. Right then. We're doing okay over here. We just need to hold them out for a little bit. Okay, we, we got those guys. Uh, let's get up here, and then we'll charge the Aspidophoroi with our Aspidophoroi. Great cavalry battle, boys. Oh, and we've routed them instantly. Now through their uh, all their missile troops, we shall go. And then we'll go into the back of the Greek Hoplites there. The Agama's doing a good job. They've got their own phalangites. You have run out of ammo. Not going to put you in the melee fight. Just for the sake of it. There's no point. Get those Greek slingers. These guys are all going to come back unless we kill like pretty much all of them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how good the Krodroboy are at charging down the enemy. Now let's get into the Greek Hoplites at the back here. I wonder, wonder where their, their general is. Hammer and anvil time, boys. And now we've got the hammer. Yeah, that's a pretty good hammer, isn't it? It's a pretty good anvil. Oh, kill him would be nice. Now, Prodromoy, get over there. Oh, who's this? Aspido Foroy. They're going to shred our Prodromoy. Oh, God damn it. Anyway. No, you got to run away from them. <laughs> run away. Run away. Right now, over here. We're doomed. Right, let's get through. Fight them. Oh, who are you? Oh, the poor uh, Akontistite. Now, let's... I believe they've got an Agama in there. Oh, no, they have the Pez, uh, Pez Hetairoi, who are an elite unit, as you can see by the amount of plumage in there. Looks like we made them want to fight to the death. But oh well. That's what you get for cavalry blocks. <laughs> Our Prodromoy are gone now. Cavalry destruction. They're all fighting to the death now. If we run away... 
They should all want to run. Yeah. Uh, right then. Let's run you through the middle of there. You through the middle of there. And then we'll run you guys around this way. Okay, we're done. Fantastic. Absolutely destroyed them. Well, it felt like we did anyway, but not so much. But guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That the last uh, unit roster of this update. And hopefully we'll get some access to some unit rosters uh, just before the new update comes out. When, I, when that is, I don't know. I believe they're aiming for about a three-month uh, dev cycle this time. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please like and subscribe the video. It really does help the channel out. And I'll see you again on the next video.